what's up kings and queens yes i said kings and queens because on this channel we are what nothing less but it's your girl naya aka tiny dreams and welcome back to my channel this is the intro i know you love it this is the intro i know it's knocking and it's knocking through those speakers and that y'all i know i did not have the nerve to come up on this camera with my two week old busted twist out girl I was like, how are they gonna take me serious if I don't look like I could be taken serious? So you know what I did? I washed my hair, did a little mess, treated it the way it should be treated, and then I came back, did my twist eyes. You can see it's looking fresh, and I cut my ends. I maybe cut a little bit more than my ends. I got a little scissor happy, but we're not gonna talk about that. Anywho, y'all, if you read that title, we are going to be discussing the things I feel personally that you should take into consideration before you There go that siren. There go that damn siren. Every time I decide to film, I'm going to be telling you the things I feel like you should take into consideration before you think about going natural. So if you want to listen to me put my two cents in about this, then keep on watching. Why are you going natural? Are you doing it because you truly want to? Or are you doing it because everyone else and their mother is going natural? And allow me to explain. When you decide to go natural because you truly want to, it makes the journey that much more beautiful. When you are truly doing it because you want to, you are taking the first step to this journey. And that's mentally preparing yourself for the journey you are about to embark on. It's, it's a beautiful one. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful one. But it can also be a draining one. Now, if you want to go natural because everyone else and their mother is going natural, let me stop you right there. Your ride on this journey is going to be a bumpy one. You are not going to enjoy it. You are not going to fully embrace it. The second thing you should consider is whether you are going to big chop or transition. I chose to transition and I still currently am transitioning. Now, big chop, self-explanatory. You chop off all the damage, it's done, it's gone, you're fully natural. I salute everyone who chose to big chop. I salute you, I really do, because that takes a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of courage to do. Once you chop, you can't go back. That's something you should really think about. Transitioning, you are keeping the damage, but you are also growing out your hair. So you have the new growth, but then you have that line of demarcation where the damage meets the new growth. I mean, ooh, the other way. Where the, where the new growth meets the damage. Either way, the new growth is meeting the damage and you basically decide to hold on to the damage and cut away at it every couple of months. So I know a lot of people claim that you aren't really natural if you still hold on to the damage, but still grow out your hair. Honey, no. That's not how we feel over here. Over here, you are natural either way you choose to go because at the end of the day, you are still growing out your hair. You are still learning your hair when you big chop it and you're learning your hair when you transition. Next, what are your goals? What goals do you have for your natural hair? What's your length goals with your hair? Do you want to make it to like your shoulders, waist length? How are you going to achieve those goals? Write down those goals. Work towards them because once you write down your goals for your hair, it makes you that much more eager to achieve them and to take care of your hair. You're gonna feel obligated to do these things. You're gonna feel obligated to achieve them, to make it happen. This journey is not an easy one. You are going to be so excited in the beginning, but then once you apply that little bit of shampoo to your hair, you're just like, oh shoot, like I'm really doing this. My straight hair is turning curly. That's where it really begins. That's where your hair comes in and kicks your butt because it's like, do you know me? Do you really know me? Well, I'm gonna teach you about me because you had your chance, but clearly you didn't care about me. So now I'm gonna have to make you pay. And you know what? We're gonna be suffering at first. That's exactly how I feel like natural hair feels period. The fourth thing you should consider, money. Money, money, money. Just know, sis, you are going to be spending a pretty penny, okay? A pretty penny on products. Sometimes, some products is not going to work. You think this product is the holy grail. This is the key. This is what's going to keep my hair in shape. This is what's going to keep my hair moisturized. And then you realize the product is trash. Now you didn't spend $30 on a product that you'll never use again. And you're thinking, is it even worth it? Is it even worth continuing? Let me just say this, y'all. Before you go out and decide to spend a whole pretty penny on products, do your research. Your hair journey does not have to be an expensive one. You do not have to break the bank to get the best product. Sometimes the best, 
sometimes the best product costs literally four to five dollars six dollars ten dollars at most you don't have to break the bank let me tell you this curling custard 12.99 13 dollars i've had this for over a year what am i saying then my lemongrass leave-in conditioner literally 12.99 as well i use olive oil i don't use gel I should drop a mixtape. The next thing I think you should take into consideration is your schedule. Do you have time to manage your hair? Do you really have time? You have to literally make the time. You have to make time to detangle your hair, pre-poo your hair, wash your hair, detangle in the shower, detangle after you shampoo, detangle after you condition, detangle after you do your deep conditioner. Then you gotta detangle when you're doing your twist out or when you're doing your wash and go. All of those things are time consuming and could take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour or two, maybe even three, depending on how deep you wanna get into it. If you are that busy to the point where you cannot dedicate two to three hours to your hair, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, you wanna hold off until you can find a balance in your schedule to actually go natural because, um, sis, it's just gonna lock up. It's just gonna get damaged. It's just gonna stay dry like the, Sahara, like the Sahara Desert. It's not going to flourish. It's not going to thrive. And that's the goal here. We want our hair to thrive. We want our hair to flourish. We want our hair to look great. We want our hair to look good. We want our hair to smell bomb. We don't want to walk around looking busted. With that being said, I think that's all I had to say, y'all. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this or just catered around natural hair, let me know down below. I also was thinking about doing my subscribers hair care routine, like using the products that y'all use for your natural hair on my hair to see if it works because, hey, why not? Like, I use the same three products all the time. I know what works for my hair. So it's like I would love to try out y'all's natural hair care routine. If anything, just DM me on Instagram telling me what products you use, how you use them. Give me the details. I wouldn't have gotten as far as I've gotten in this journey if I had not done my research. So I'd love to put y'all on and give you the beans, spill the tea, and just help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? So if you'd be interested in that, also comment that down below. And if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you could become a king and or a queen because on this channel we are what? nothing less also y'all click that notification bell so you never miss an upload you know the one next to the subscribe button after you subscribe you click that bell button so you never miss an upload we are on the road to 200 subscribers let's get there i love you guys and i will see you in my next one hey i'm too hot i got hey. no fever hey okay